Hey everybody, it's the Boss Lady here, coming to you from one of our parks. Um, as you can hear, there's kids in the background, so I'm going to try to make this brief. But anyway, this is Talk About It Tuesday. Um, and I brought Miss Peanut to the park so uh, she could play, run off some energy, and there's other kids here too. So you will hear some screeching or whatever in the background. Sorry about that, but uh, let's get into this video. So, um... Boss Man has given me a topic, as well as I spoke to another creator who agreed with the topic, and um, you know who you are. Um, the topic of this Talk About Tuesday is, how do you combat flattery versus copycat? Case in point. Now, us as creators on YouTube, we all do different things. Um, you know, there's a lot of creators who, um, they do DIYs as well as they do tutorials. So when when a person does a tutorial, that basically um, is giving you the instructions on how to create and things of that nature. But in your everyday life, when you're speaking to your everyday friends, coworkers, cousins, family, you know, associates, how do you deal with the flattery or is it copycat? Um, recently, there were some things that I was doing in my everyday life, which I have, um, I've shared via YouTube, but I also shared in my private life, um, with a few different people. Well, anyway, um, you know how you sit and you have a conversation and you're, you're telling your, whoever you're talking to, you know, oh, I'm planning to do blah, 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 and I'm going to do it like this, I'm going to do it like that, I'm going to show you this picture and see this is what I'm going to copy, you know, to do in my life and make it my own and blah, blah, blah. But then, let's say, not even hours later, but like a couple of days later, a week later, a month later, you're holding a conversation with the same person and they turn around and say verbatim, the exact thing that you had told them that you're planning to do in your life, whether it's DIY a project or um, buy a certain type of vehicle, um, certain clothes, purse, hair, um, anything of that nature. But they do everything verbatim. Is it copycat or is it flattery? Now, <clears throat> I had an issue and I was very discouraged because I was on the phone and I'm talking with this person and literally I would say within a month um, this person came back and they said exactly what I had told them and then even tried to say oh well I didn't tell my husband what you did blah 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 but even my husband was like you should do da 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 now ladies sound off please we all know there's not many husbands, if at all, who will talk about certain things. Especially when it comes to, like, our daughters and, you know, little girl things. I mean, unless they're just, like, overly just into their daughters. Come on now. So, when that was said, <laughs> that particular piece, when that was said, that tipped the scale for me. You know, it was one thing to say, oh, you know, I'm going to uh, paint my daughter's room the same color or, you know, or in that same family of colors, you know, oh, I'm going to get white furniture, um, you know, oh, I'm going to put up affirmations. Um, but when you specifically speak about something that I have done, that wasn't necessarily a tutorial because it wasn't something that I was, you know, like teaching a person um, in my everyday life. I mean, I was just talking about, you know, what, what my plans were and what I had done. Um, that is when I find issue. And so Boss Man is telling me, don't be upset about it. Um, you're an originator and um, it's flattery. Just be flattered, you know. Um, and I said, no, it's copycat. And I, you know, and I even spoke about, you know, growing up, um, in my childhood and having, you know, my childhood friends and how they would do things, um, you know, where it just seemed like, you know, you know, how, like people come over to your house and then, you know, they kind of take in everything. And then next thing you know, you go visit them at their house and their house looks identical to yours. 
yeah that's <laughs> that's an issue now it's one thing when you see somebody like say for instance um what's the going craze right now on youtube um okay case in point the pumpkin pillows that everybody's getting from um what's it called uh home goods or i think somebody got one from kohl's but like everybody not me but everybody's running out and getting these same exact pillows now that's fine because when you see the different videos you see them placed differently um but it's different when you see something where it's totally identical i mean it's one thing to be you know um praised for something that you've done but to like literally copy the entire scenario i mean that's a bit extreme for me um and i've been told by many to um you know don't always you know put all your eggs in one basket don't sit up and tell everything that you're going to do just let it happen um and i'm learning that you know in my 40 years almost 41 i'm learning that um it's better to not talk about it just be about it um and now this particular person who is doing this you know stuff you know they pride themselves on you know all the accolades that they have the the size of their home um the size of their vehicle or the type of vehicle you know they pride themselves on oh i can just go to the store and i can just buy blah 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 without having to budget or whatever um, but then come to find out yeah you're going to these different stores but you got a credit card at every single one of those stores you know what i mean so how are you getting a deal when you're using credit cards i rather budget i rather pay cash and you know and if there's something that's out there that i just can't get because i don't have the cash for it then oh well you know um to me that's a smart shopper not someone who's just oh well i'm just gonna budget out xyz on this credit card for christmas and i'm just gonna just use the credit card and then pay it off later no but <clears throat> anyway um so that's that's the talk about it Tuesday. Just the fact of, to me, I I don't believe in flattery. Um, I don't believe in, you know, um, people just literally copycatting. I mean, it's, like I said, it's one thing if if we're watching something, you know, whether it's Pinterest or YouTube or Instagram, and someone's, oh yeah, I did blah blah blah, and this is how I did it, and da 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 cool you know i mean that's how i learned how to do a lot of things that i that i'm doing now in my life in my family in my home is because of youtube it's because of instagram is because of you know pinterest or whatever but at the same time in between time i'm also making it my own it's one thing to to um see something and use it as a guide it's another thing when you literally verbatim just boom this is what it is i mean like even with my wreath making you know i never knew how to make that stuff i thought that was like the most coolest thing and when i finally figured it out then i, I ran with it you know but i wasn't like oh i gotta make my wreath exactly like you know who i learned it from no i make it my own it's boss creations it's not you know whoever else creations you know um so i don't know um <laughs> It's bothering me. It's really, really, really bothering me. Just because, you know, um, as far as Miss Pina is concerned, I really wanted to um, do something special for her. And I wanted it to be, you know, like her own thing. But then to find out that someone is literally... I mean, the furniture is not the same. So, okay, there is a difference there. You know, but I mean, same color room same color furniture same type of ideas as far as you know the affirmations and stuff like that i just i don't know it it bothers me um you know i pride on being original i pride on doing things special and one thing i can say her room will still be special because I'm taking my time to do it and do it right. Um, I'm taking my, my love, sweat, and tears in, in putting this together. You know, um, yes, it could be, it would be easier just to go out and just spend the money, you know. Um, but I am, I'm taking my time, you know, learning different crafts, learning different DIYs, and trying to go the most thriftiest, you know, <laughs> spot as possible, trying to get things together. Um, 
and to make it unique for her but it just it bothers me to know that okay now you know if you go over to this person's house where their room is going to be you know semi-identical that just it does something to my psyche <laughs> now that could be wrong so you know chime in and let me know how you feel about it um is it flattery if someone you know does the same exact as you or is it a copycat um boss man is telling me not to worry about it you know um he says not like our daughter is over there 24 7 or this child is over there 24 7 but now it puts me at a position of i don't want to share anymore that's the thing that's where i'm at with it i mean sharing with my youtube family that's not a problem sharing with my family or my husband's family that's not an issue but um as far as like you know like T sending a text message and saying hey look what I did or what you know what I've um, accomplished today that um, is coming to an end because I feel like I can't share anymore um, and then here's the other thing this person is older than me <laughs> you know so you you think that um, people being of a certain age they would already have arrived um, they already put it out there like oh I got it going on so okay you got it going on but you're sitting up here copying someone who's like six years younger than you I don't get that um, so <laughs> the kids are playing but um, I don't I don't get that you know um, or you idolize someone who's like way younger than you but then make it seem like oh no I, I had already thought about this oh I had already put that in the atmosphere negative you know um, so that that's that's my issue uh, because you know I mean and we're all learning I mean I'm learning from 30 year olds I'm learning from 20 year olds I'm learning from 60 year olds you know whatever but it's one thing to learn it's another thing to just adopt it as your own and like you just patent it out you know you you the copyright of it and that's where I find issue um, but my husband <laughs> once again he keeps telling me don't worry about it don't worry about it you know <laughs> Um, and he keeps encouraging me to, you know, move forward with um, everything with, you know, Miss Peanut. Please be careful, Miss Peanut. Be careful. Sorry. But um, he keeps telling me just to move forward with, you know, what we're doing or whatever and calling it a day. And, and I am, you know, but I just <clears throat> now I know for sure what I can and cannot share, what I can and cannot say. Um, and even with, I mean, I've had it happen with family members as well, you know, um, especially when it comes to, um, thrifting, you know, I have family members who are anti thrifting, you know, that is like the worst that is beneath them. They cannot think about it. Don't want to dream about it. But then when they see something, oh, that's beautiful. Where'd you get that from? And blah, blah, blah. And as soon as you tell them, they're like, oh, 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 what's that? I, I don't get that, you know? Um, and even this other person, you know, they're anti-thrifting too, but now all of a sudden they're going to yard sales, estate sales. Really? Come on now. So, I, you know, that's where I am with everything. Um, you know, I just, I sit and I think about friendships. I sit and I think about associates. I sit and I think about just people in general. And I'm really on this, this quest of discernment right now and I just really can't handle all of the negativity um, that's not part of my life anymore so there will be some people who will definitely have to you know make an exit and that's fine with me I'm okay with that you know um, done it before can do it again um, but that's what I want to talk about, talk about Tuesday, as far as just, you know, what do you think about flattery or copycat? Um, you know, is it a big deal? Is it not a big deal? Do you think, you know, everybody's just trying to find their way? I mean, I think about, um, I've told you guys about my coworkers, and, you know, my coworkers, they ask me different questions and different things, and, you know, how can I go about this, that, those, and the fifth, and, you know, and I give them my 59 cent, and they run with it, but they make it their own. This person, not so much, especially when it comes to our children, and that's where I have an issue. But, 
you guys chime in tell me what you think i'm gonna end it here because the kids are about to get riled up again they're playing tag so i will just talk to you guys later and you have a great day Bye bye